This video is brought to you by Flower Magazine. See the description of this video to subscribe now and receive six copies each year for more beautiful interior design, flowers, and gardens. So really when I was asked to do the show house, I thought I wanted to bring in a floral moment, but I wanted it to be something that was different, not just your typical sort of chintz or something like that. So I wanted it to feel different. Hi, I'm Michelle Nussbaumer. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I designed the foyer and powder bath in the Flower Magazine show house here in Atlanta. So I created this wallpaper with my wallpaper line with Paul Montgomery, and it's based on the Villa Efruzzi, which is the Ross Shields home in Cap Ferrat. And that was based on these gardens that they had there that were quite famous. And in those gardens, there were flowers from Asia, from all over Japan, India, and then there was an Italianate garden and an English garden and every kind of different garden. It was really celebrated as the most beautiful flower garden of its time. And so if you notice, it's a patchwork um, of flowers in the wallpaper, which represents all those different countries. And that's really was the starting point for the, um, for the room. So I designed the fabric for Clarence House and uh, that's my first collection with Clarence House, and the trim also. And I just thought it paired really well with the wallpaper. I actually based the coloration in the wallpaper to be able to go with that fabric, and also with the rug from the rug company. And then I used a different Clarence House um, vintage print on the console. So I wanted to bring in a little bit of mod, which I think, um, sort of brought the room to a more now moment. Even the room has a little bit of a, I don't want to say orientalist kind of feel, but it also has a very modern feel as well because of some of those added touches, the rug from the rug company and the console that I custom designed. It's always so hard for me to think about what's the favorite moment in the room, but I would say I love the, anywhere the flowers are. So fla I, I don't like rooms that don't feel alive and flowers and animals and people bring them so much to life. It's one thing I love so much about Flower Magazine is every shot pretty much has flowers and fruit and something beautiful that way and that's how a house comes alive for me. So I love the big urn in the corner full of that huge arrangement. I think it just turned out so beautifully in front of my Clarence House um, striped fabric. I loved all the different brands I worked with, and there were quite a few brand partners of mine that I used, being Clarence House, Paul Montgomery for the wallpaper, the rug company for rugs. I have a hardware line with Modern Matters, and that's throughout the room. I especially liked working with the Shade Store, who was a partner in the show house, and they always do such a beautiful job. That was really great. Um, Chelsea House did some of the brackets that were quite beautiful and I did the custom console through Ceylon at Sea, which is my showroom in Dallas. Circa Lighting, they did such a beautiful lighting job and I love everything they do. Something of a journey and so much fun. I originally met the girls who own Modern Matters quite a few years ago and they had done some hardware for a job, which turned into a collaboration that we've been working on for the last three years and it's been extremely successful and I'm very proud of it. Um, all the hardware is really based on jewelry and different jewelry that I own or am inspired by. The one that I did here is Lapis Lazuli and also Labradorite. And these ladies are just so wonderful at bringing my designs to life. I think Peter Block did such a beautiful job on this house. And the thing I really like about it after walking around and really looking at it is so many of the rooms incorporate the golden mean, just meaning sort of the perfect architectural dimension, height, width, and length. And um, a lot of architects don't do that, so it gives the house very much of an old world feel, even though it's a very contemporary house and very modern in every way. And I also like very much the use of the unfinished floors, the wood floors. Uh, there's just so many details that he really did that were beautiful. All of the, um, the moldings and um, Barry's library, the way he pulled that together with the drawings that Barry provided him, I love that. There's just every detail. The doors are beautiful. 
he, he did such a lovely job. It's really fun being part of that. <laughs>